full time at the Silver Lake Stadium. Eastley nil, Wrexham FC two. A Jake Hyde brace. He's Wrexham pick up a vital three points away from home. So yes, as usual, we will be doing a match reaction to this game. So before we get anywhere, please drop a like, hit the subscribe button as well, and leave in the comments down below your thoughts on the game. And yeah, let's get straight into the match reaction. So Wrexham uh, did actually start on the front foot in this game. A few attacking chances here and there, but finally one of them was put away by our summer signing from Halifax Town, Jake Hyde. Um, it was his first goal of the season, obviously he had one against Solihull which was ruled out, but this one did count as he scored only 12 minutes into his away debut for Wrexham. It was a good through ball from Mullen uh, and then Jake Hyde calmly slotted it away, so that gave us the lead and the vital first early goal in this game to make it 1-0. On 19 minutes there was another good chance for Wrexham as Davis puts in an excellent delivery from the corner but Tozer, on his debut, shoots over from a tight angle, um, so it seems to be just all one-way traffic, Wrexham dominating this game. And then on 21 minutes, it was almost like it was harder to score than miss. East, the Eastley player, I can't remember who it was, shoots wide from just two yards out, um, a massive chance to peg back level just under 10 minutes after we scored. But he did actually miss the target from two yards out, so Wrexham still remain in the lead. Yeah, so it was Eastley were having a couple of good chances, um, nothing worrying apart from when Ben House's header forced Rob Lainton on a debut this season, good seeing back, uh, forced him into a great save after his header. So at this moment, I was sort of thinking, are Eastley going to score? And it's going to go into half-time one all. But then Jake Hyde is yards away from the goal. But McDonnell, a fair play to him. He's one of the, sounded one of the best keepers I've seen play against us. He denies Jake Hyde from a few yards out with an excellent save. Obviously, I don't remember. Uh, well, I couldn't watch it, so I don't know what it was like in real life. But it seemed as if Jake Hyde should have made it 2-0. But not to worry, he did make it 2-0 on 42 minutes. Um, as Jake Hyde, once again, showing his lethalness, scored after uh, a Jordan Davis corner. This man, I can tell you, is going to get... If we can keep him fit, he's going to get a fair few amount of goals this season. So yeah, the second half started and immediately there was an injury to... Eastley centre half Christian Magoma, the one on loan from Gillingham. Um, I'm not sure what happened. I don't think I was listening at the time, um, but there was a delay from the 47th minute to the 51st. So hopefully everything's okay with him. But that did mean a stoppage in play then. 53 minutes. Jordan Davis fires over the bar from a Ben Toza throw, and all I can say is Ben Toza's throws this season um, from that game alone just seemed really good. Um, a couple of front post ones, a couple that were just hurled into the box. At one point he said he hurled one into the goal mouth. So I think they'll be a very good companion for us to use this season. Um, especially if we can get the likes of Hayden in the box and stuff to win those headers. And hopefully a couple of goals will come from them. Wrexham made the change of Paul Mullen coming off after a very solid display. Unfortunately he couldn't get a goal. But from what I've heard, he kept on running. He chased every last ball. He came off for Dior Angus, who made an immediate impact as he spun off his man and just shot wide of the target. So that could have been an early goal for Angus to kick off his campaign this season. So yeah, that was um, the end of the action. Wrexham coming out 2-0 winners today. 711 Wrexham fans took the travel six hours odd down to Eastley, which is incredible away support from us. My man of the match has to be has to be one man, the two-goal hero, Jake Hyde. What a display from him. Good scene getting off the mark. And my match rating out of five, I'd have probably given it a three. The first half seemed a very competitive and a lot of blockbuster action going on. But the second half, I think, a couple of injuries here and there, a couple of yellow cards. It was just about getting the job done. Um, for Wrexham Eastley, nothing too special, Not didn't make a few chances, obviously their striker Tyrone Barnett came off injured, but yeah, they didn't really do anything that was going to trouble us, 
Lennon had also had a good game as well. It sounded like he's a good, strong, physical defender. Um, so yeah, ended 2-0 to the Reds. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, press the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you don't miss a video. What a win for the Reds. So let's go and get the three points against Notts County on Monday. I think they drew today against 10 men. So gives me hope, gives me hope. Enjoy this video. I'll see you guys then. Take care.